and the absolute megaton of genres that happen to exist in the world of heavy metal, well, let's be honest, the vast majority of them just being based upon the lyrical content alone, which if you want to consider that as being a way of determining a genre, then I'm called bullshit, but whatever. Let's not talk about that. But as far as all the genres go, there's probably very few that happen to really hit their title well. And perhaps even more so than black metal, death metal, thrash metal, or anything freaking else. The one genre, in my opinion, that really hits the mark and gets it right up on the point when it comes to their said genre's title is doom metal. Oh yes, doom metal. The absolute rifting madness of the heavy metal world. Of course, taking a little hint of bands like Witchfinder General, General um, Black Sabbath, or hell, even a little bit of Celtic Frost or Hellhammer to some extent. The genre is an absolute rifting haven. If you're looking for, in my opinion, some of the most just heavy metal, Paris to the form riffs that you can find, look no further. And perhaps if there's any band in the said genre that really kicks off the mark and does it really damn well, there's probably none who do it better, well, very few I would say, than Candlemass. And with, of course, Nightfall. Now, um... I can very much state this about this said record. Probably the thing, even beyond its absolutely phenomenal rifting, just go listen to Gothic Stone Bewitched or, um, God, the name of the song that escaped me, um, At the Gallows End. Just, just look up those three songs just alone. And, that, and trust me, there's other songs on the record, but just right there, absolutely phenomenal from top to freaking bottom rift wise. Hell, even the drums, which honestly in Doom Metal is not really a strong point pretty damn good on this record in all honesty if i have to probably point out anything that's weak on it it might be a little bit of the production aspect to the said drums but honestly that's just a nitpick and that's a personal preference in all honesty but if there's one thing that really stands out about the said john or the said band and the said record even though most of the records are like this it is the vocals from freaking messiah himself messiah malcolm by god just some of the more fundamentally amazing vocals that I've probably ever heard in pretty much any freaking heavy metal band. Now, you can talk all day about your Rob Hartford, your Bruce Dickinson's, even though I think Paul Deano is actually a better vocalist. Hurt me, hurt me. Um, or, hell, even um, Jeffrey Tate of Queen Scrap. That was another one that a lot of people mentioned. Even though, honestly, I'd put King Diamond above any of them, but that's just me. But even beyond all of them, they're all very talented in their own right. Messiah, in my opinion, blows them out of the water. You're talking about somebody who, in my opinion, mixes the idea of operatic music and mixes heavy metal and does it perfectly. There's a few bands that have dabbled in that set area. Theron has done that to varying degrees of success. The same thing with um, Ice Earth, they've done that, and a score of other bands. Just look to some of the black metal groups nowadays. Yeah, they try to do it all the time. And again to varying degrees of success, but Messiah Malcolm, by God, this man absolutely aces that. So much so that that's probably the fundamental pillar of this freaking record. If that was lacking on this record, it would probably be half as good. And that's saying quite a bit, considering the fact that even without the vocals, this is a fantastic freaking record by all means of the said wood. As I said about the production, yeah, I have a little nitpick there, but Honestly, this is a damn good sounding record, and the guitar tone itself is just this deep, just absolutely doomy, gloomy sounds to it that I just love to death. The atmosphere is thick on this record. The opening track, then going into, from Gothic Stone going into the Well of Souls, just filled with atmosphere, and really bringing you into the sort of dark, melodic world of this said band. And then, of course, with At the Gallows End, just absolutely breaming with this just powerful, just sort of emotion, for lack of better words. Um, another one that I particularly like is the Dark, um, what is it? Uh, I'd actually have to look. Um, Dark in the Veils of Death, okay, I'm just thinking Dark in the Veils of Death. Dark in the Veils of Death, another fantastic song in that sort of regard. The rifting on that one, though, is actually probably more impressive than the vocals. And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, or well, maybe I didn't, but Bewitched, an absolute masterpiece of a song. And, by the way, go look up the video sometime. Dead of Mayhem actually happens to appear in it at one point, which I kind of found to be hilarious, but, yeah, go figure. 
Anyhow, I highly freaking recommend this record. Out of pretty much any of the records that I've talked about to any degree, this is probably one of the ones I'd probably highly recommend to get first, if anything. It is an absolutely phenomenal record, and honestly, I... You know, I don't know if I'd necessarily say it's one of my favorite doom metal records, but it's definitely probably my top three favorite. Wonderful record. Highly freaking recommend it. This is heavy metal, my dear friends. Get it. This is Art Alive here. Stay heavy, my friends.